Hello and welcome to The Buzz. I'm Kiara Hood. And I'm Hannah Bell. Let's take a look at the stories that have us buzzing. First up, what happens when the richest of the rich winds up living with the regular folks? You can find out at the movies this weekend. David Daniel has a look. My name is Michelle Darnell and I am the wealthiest woman in America. How wealthy am I? I wanted to come down on a golden phoenix and I sure did it. The Boss stars Melissa McCarthy as a business mogul who lands in big trouble. You're under arrest for insider trading. Michelle, don't struggle. You're bankrupt. All your accounts have been frozen. Claire, get me a new lawyer. You don't have any money, you stupid ginger! When I came up with her, I knew everything. I knew how she sounded, how she walked, how she stood, where she placed her weight, exactly what she looked like. I mean, I went into the wig shop and I was like, I need a red, spiky... I, it just was the weirdest thing. And people were like, why is your turtleneck up there? Like, because that's how she wears it. Once released from prison, Michelle has to move in with her former assistant, played by Kristen Bell. Michelle, you need to get off the couch. Take Rachel to her dandelions meeting. Our troop came in with the $189,000. Holy. Bankrupt and desperate for a comeback, Michelle hatches a plan. What is all this? This is my way back. We are going to start a brownie empire and teach these girls real business skills. We want some good recruits. Get in there, go for the aggressive girls. Turns out brownies and the boss's business style are an uncomfortably good match. Okay, Crystal, what do we say if somebody doesn't want to buy? Buy my brownies or I'll kill you. Don't say that, Crystal. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. All right, well, I am thinking this is a must-see. What do you think? I would have to agree. At first, I didn't think it would be that good, but now I think it's going to be pretty good. It she seems funny. like she's, I love how she talked about her character development. Mm -hmm. I think that's really interesting, and I really think she's created a character that's like Easy to both love and hate. Right. Like, very dynamic character. Yeah, I totally and agree. And she's hilarious, so I can't wait to see this one. Me neither. I think I'm going to go and see it when it comes out. The popular website, Reddit, is offering users a stronger version of its blocked user tool. In an update released Wednesday, the change is aimed at stopping harassment on the social media site. Now when you block someone, you no longer see their profile or anything they post, and they still won't know that you blocked them. Reddit is known for being a place where anyone can talk about or share anything. But that kind of environment led to discussion forums dedicated to bullying and racism, with some discussions leading to harassment complaints. Reddit says it hopes that the new tool will improve the experience for Reddit users. Well, I'm really glad to see that they're, uh, they're taking a stand against cyberbullying as a whole. Yeah, um, hopefully, the, since they're doing this on Reddit, you know, it'll spread to other social media sites. Because there's so many social media sites out there that we don't even know about. And it's probably right. bullying going on. I mean, with an environment like that where you can post anything. It anything. can be really good, but it does open up a lot of channels for anything to go wrong. Right, I definitely so, agree with you know, that. Kudos to them for starting something. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter and the Expensive Chair sounds like it could be a book title in the widely popular Harry Potter children's book series. It would be fitting. The chair J.K. Rowling sat in while writing the first two Harry Potter books has been sold at an auction for $394,000. Here's a bit of history on the chair. Rowling received four mismatched dining room chairs in 1995 when she was a single mother in Scotland. She chose the most comfortable one while writing Harry Potter in the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets on her typewriter. And now, after parting with several hundreds of thousands of dollars, a big fan has quite a piece of memorabilia. So, Hannah, what do you think about this chair being sold for that much money? I wish I had known about it sooner. <laughs> I mean, of course, I didn't have the kind of money to go and bid on it or right. anything. But I want that chair. <laughs> Well, maybe the person who bought it can let you maybe like sit in it and take some creative inspiration. Maybe write some so. of my books and J.K. Rowling. I think you chair. could. Uh, why not? <laughs> well, that's all the time we've got for the buzz. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.